Hey everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own Linux local lab. And for this, I'm going to use the virtual box, obviously, and on which I'm going to install the Ubuntu 24.04. In case you already know how to install it, how to set up it, then please go along with the process and uh, skip this particular video and jump on the next video. Please don't waste time, right? In case uh, you don't know, please follow along with the tutorial. Okay. So first of all, very first thing I have the virtual box installed in case you don't have, please install it. The next thing is we need one OS. Uh, in our case, we need the Ubuntu OS. So what you can do is you can just type Ubuntu on the Google. It will give you download Ubuntu desktop link. Click on that. And here you can click on download 24.0.4.1. That is the LTS version of the Ubuntu. And that's what we are going to use. It will download basically ISO file. In my case, I have already downloaded that particular ISO file. Let me show you. So this is the ISO file the, of the Ubuntu that I have downloaded. And that's what we are going to use in the installation process. Okay. Now, without wasting time, let me get into the installation. In the VirtualBox Manager, we need to click on the new. And right now it is saying type Microsoft version, uh, whatever it is, Windows 11. As soon as I type Ubuntu right here, it will automatically say type Linux, subtype Ubuntu and all. So right now, this particular area is already filled. Next thing we need to fill is hardware area. By default, it is just taking the 2 GB RAM. But in my case, I have 64 GB RAM on my desktop. So I can afford to like give around 10 GB RAM and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give the 10 GB RAM. I have 12 core CPU. So in my case, I can give up to four cores uh, for this particular OS. And there is a reason behind why I'm giving this particular four core or five core. Because the amount of resources I'm allocating right now to this particular box will determine the speed of that particular box, virtual box OS, right? So that's why. Let me go ahead and click on the hard disk option. By default, it is setting the 25 GB. In my case, I have around uh, pretty much good space so i'll just uh, bump up to the 80 gb okay now let me click on the finish and that should uh, do the thing now you might say that we haven't added the iso file yet but don't worry let me click on the next and it will start to boot and once it will see that the iso file is not present it will give me a pop-up to add the iso file also can you see the pop-up is there here let me click on the other and uh, obviously i'm going to use the os that i have downloaded right here which is ubuntu 24.04.1 okay and once it is done mount and try reboot so that's what i'm going to choose let me minimize the rest of this stuff okay the os has been booted and it is saying give me uh, basically this is giving me grub right here try or install ubuntu that's what we are going to select i can select by using the enter button so once i do that it will boot the ubuntu and it will show me the nice interface of the ubuntu okay so right now ubuntu has been booted and can you see the interface looks really nice because this is like latest version of the ubuntu 24.04 so that's why okay so once it is ready it is giving me choose your language let me click on the next next and keyboard next uh, then use wired connection obviously in this case you need to use wired connection then install ubuntu then interactive installation then default selection because i don't want any extra apps because this is just for testing let me click on next here there is a no need to use the graphics and wi-fi hardware uh, software download because uh, by default it doesn't have access to a graphics card directly so there won't be any software around the graphics and uh, we are using the wired connection that's why there is a no wi-fi also so i don't think so it's needed to check but in case you feel it needs to be checked please check okay uh, let me click on the download and install support additional media format it might need it and let me click on the next and in the next process it will ask the installation criteria do you want to erase full disk or you do you want to do manual installation in some cases, people don't want to allocate their full disk to this particular Ubuntu. In that case, uh, they can use this particular option. But in our case, we are using the virtual box. 
so i'll just go ahead let me say flux right here in the my place of the name instead of first virtual box it's too big i'll say flux box username is obviously flux and let me type the password okay so right now the password is saying weak but i don't care because it's in the virtual and it's for only testing let me click next next and let me click on the install right now the installation time will depend how much resources you have allocated to this particular box so in my case i have allocated four cores and around 10 gb ram so i think in my case it will be a little bit faster so right now i'm going to pause the video and once the installation will be complete i'll unpause that particular video okay so now installation process has been completed let me click on the uh, restart now and that should restart the ubuntu os and give us access okay so here we are on the login page so let me click here and enter the password now the problem you can see on the screen right here is right now my uh, whole uh, window of the ubuntu is quite so small right here it is showing only this rectangle right here but the whole of this space is still empty so how exactly we can fix that basically we can fix that by changing the display uh, resolution in the setting so let me show you how it's uh, done uh, let me click on the finish go here open the settings go to the display settings and it is the display resolution that we have to change uh, in my case i have i think 920 into 180 display so when i click apply it should uh, give me some kind of this display so right now i can see the scrolls right here but i don't have to worry about that because in use i am going to use to the full screen mode right here and this is how it will look on the full screen mode okay so yeah this is how you fix the display display resolution problem also okay so yeah that's all about the installation of the ubuntu on the virtual box if you have any doubt please let me know and yeah thanks for watching see you in the next